So after working in tech support and project management and teaching for almost 20 years, I have learned that a lot of people just don't need a traditional computer anymore. I've been using my M4 iPad Pro as my only computer for productivity and teaching and for just binging content and consuming. And it's done well to meet all my needs in work and productivity. And now we have iPad OS 26 in beta form and I've been using that for the last month and my iPad Pro is even more capable it's even more like a Mac than ever before. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I've learned over the last year after working with this M4 iPad Pro that a lot of us just don't need a computer anymore, not in the traditional sense like a PC or a Mac. I worked with PCs for many years, and then I got hooked on Apple products and worked on a Mac for over a decade, and now I've graduated to the iPad Pro and haven't looked back. So I wanted to get the iPad Pro because I wanted the best tablet experience possible, so I love my iPads, I love consumers, consuming content, I love binging shows on it, I love browsing the web, answering emails. But I also wanted a tablet for teaching, so this serves as my whiteboard, and so I use this all the time in the classroom to beam worksheets or math problems up on the board, work through them with Apple Pencil, it's just great for that. And then I needed something that could do computer work well enough, and by computer work I mean productivity, I mean the Microsoft suite and the Google suite and all those productivity things you have to do in the office, because I'm a project manager by day and I have to do all those things for work. And so when I went to the M4 iPad Pro, the intention was to really use it as a two-in-one device. And I've learned that no matter what device you buy, you're going to compromise somewhere. So let's say you want to get the best tablet on the market. My opinion is that's the iPad Pro. It's got that OLED display, which is gorgeous. It has a great form factor. It's super thin, super light. It's just hands down an amazing tablet. But if you want a computing device that is, let's say, amazing at graphic design or video editing, then I'd probably probably go with a MacBook Pro or a Mac Studio. You're going to have tons of RAM, the ability to connect to tons of displays, and you're going to have access to some of the best software for that purpose. But let's say you want to go with gaming and you want the absolute best gaming computer. Well, then I'd probably get away from Apple altogether and go with a PC. PCs are just known to be the best gaming devices out there. They have access to the best games that often can't be played on Mac and certainly not on iPad. Unless you know a few tricks, you can check out my channel for that. But even if you get the these computers that are the best at that thing, you're going to compromise because they can't do other things very well. For example, the Mac Studio is not going to make a very good tablet. You're not going to be able to take that thing into bed with you and watch TV on it. So sometimes, for some users, a two-in-one form factor is really the best way to go, and I think the M4 iPad Pro combined with iPadOS 26 now makes this one of the best computers on the market. It's really good at being a tablet, and it's good enough at being in a computer, especially with these new innovations that they put into iPad OS 26. The operating system now is starting to really be able to multitask well, and it's just behaving more like a traditional computer like we need it to when we need it to. So in this video, I want to talk about how I've used my iPad Pro to be both my computer and my tablet. It's a great two-in-one device, and I want to talk about how iPad OS 26 has made so many great enhancements that make it easier to use at work. All right, Let's get into it. Okay, so first, let's talk about the iPad's two-in-one form factor. The thing that I love about the M4 iPad Pro is that you can combine it with some great accessories like the Magic Keyboard here, and you really get a Mac-like experience. The typing experience is like a Mac. It's got that nice aluminum finish. They finally have a full-size keyboard, a full-size trackpad, and the operating system is catching up now with the hardware. So I love this device for its two-in-one form factor, especially especially when I'm teaching. So when I teach, I'm using it as a computer a lot when I'm typing up an email or interacting with a website maybe. But I just as quickly need to pull the iPad off the keyboard and start using it as a tablet. If I want to go over to a student's desk and write out a math problem and show them an example of how to do something, the iPad is great for that. And that's really the main selling point that I wanted it for. I really wanted that computer functionality just enough to get my work done, but then I really need it to be an awesome tablet and the iPad can kills at that. There's really no better product in my opinion. Now, the only thing that makes me nervous about popping it on and off the keyboard like that is that there was no protection and that's where I want to talk about this product that I found called Cover Buddy. Now, this is a product that's made by a company called MagEasy and I think this is really genius because it's a cover or a case that is compatible with the Apple Magic Keyboard. 
And that's really nice because I was always so nervous when I would pop my iPad off. It's basically naked. And so if you drop it, there's no protection at all. If I was to hand it to a student and let them ride on it, I was always really nervous about that. And the thing that I love about this case is that it is 100% compatible with Apple's Magic Keyboard. That is so awesome. So you've got nice, good side protection on both sides here. You have a protective cover over the Apple Pencil to keep it from popping off. You wouldn't believe how many times I've knocked my pencil off because the magnets just aren't enough a lot and so a lot of cases are really coming out with this feature where it covers the Apple Pencil and keeps it protected, keeps it from popping off. I also love the case because it's practically weightless. There's almost no bulk to it at all. It's super thin just like the iPad itself. It's basically adding almost nothing to the iPad when you attach it. It's easy to put this case on. It's super durable and it's easy to get it back off if you don't want it on there. And you'll also notice that it doesn't really add any girth when you put it in the Apple Magic Keyboard. I can't really tell that it's on there. I mean, that's the way a case should be. The case is $69.99, but right now they have a sale for $44.99, although I do believe this sale is ending July 30th, so you'll have to act quickly. I will leave a link in the description below so you can check out this product. Also, MagEasy is running a little contest where anybody that buys the Cover Buddy and shows a picture of how they use it in their workspace is eligible to be entered in a contest to win a free $100 Amazon gift card. So check out the MagEasy Instagram site you can get more information on that contest there okay let's get back to the content so I watched a lot of videos from WWDC this year there was a lot of great content and they talked a lot about what the goal is for the iPad and what it's supposed to be and we heard multiple times that this iPad is to be a touch first experience which of course makes sense that's what makes it an iPad at its core and so I've talked about in another video why they didn't just put Mac OS on this thing that's just not the experience that Apple wants people to have and for most users of the iPad iPad, they don't want to have that experience either. And I think this is a big difference from the other two-in-one device out there, the Microsoft Surface. So that was designed, in my opinion, to be a computer first, a traditional computer that could do traditional productivity and be basically a PC, but also have some tablet functionality. You could write on it. You could use its touch interface. But it's sort of like being a tablet was an afterthought. It's really a computer that leans towards some tablet functionality. The iPad is really the opposite. It's a tablet that leans towards some computer functionality. So it just depends on what side of the scale you want to be on. Okay, so I also want to talk about how the iPad OS 26 improvements have just made the iPad Pro so much more like a computer, so much easier to use. And I put out lots of content about this. I mean, the windowing system is killer. It's just so much better than it was when Stage Manager first released a few years ago. I can really control my windows well. And that's very important when you have a lot of things going on on your productivity space. The experience is also great with touch so you often use your iPad and it's not connected to the keyboard but you still want to be able to get things done and you really can do that on this iPad Pro the touch experience is great I've actually experimented on lots of different iPads I've got the a16 the mini and so on for example a lot of people were worried that the menu bar wouldn't work with touch it absolutely does and is very easy to access and so many people are familiar with that menu bar structure that they will have an easier time finding the controls they're looking for the iPad OS 26 public beta is supposed post to launch this week. I thought it would come out yesterday. It never did. So we'll see if it drops today, maybe tomorrow. Should be soon though. And then you all can try out those features. Make sure you check out my other content. I've really covered it in great detail. I'm going to be coming out with more content, particularly on the iPad mini. I haven't published anything on that yet. I'm excited to show you what this new windowing system looks like on a little tiny screen of the iPad mini. All right. So that's my rundown on why I think the iPad Pro is such an awesome two-in-one device and how it should be used and can be used in the workplace, you've got to try it, especially with this new operating system. Let me know how you use your iPad at work. I'd love to hear about this. I see more and more people going to the iPad for their work and ditching that Mac. If that's you, I'd love to hear from you. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.